Hello all, welcome to Motor Lab. In this session today, we will learn about the uh, general introduction of uh, Windows of MATLAB R2000D. Let's get into the session. So, let me open the um, MATLAB by using the desk, uh, desktop icon, uh, icon. Just like any software, you can just double click it, it will open. I already opened the software here. So this is the uh, um, this is the default appearance of my uh, MATLAB of, of my MATLAB. So um, this is the current directory. It shows that the current basically by default it shows four windows. Four windows. One is the current working directory, which is automatically set when you uh, install the MATLAB and this is the workspace this is I would say it's a back office means all your calculations are performed here in this place this is called that's why it's called as workspace and then this is the main window it is called as command window uh, from here only you are ordering the MATLAB to perform the intended work so i would say this is the front office where you can uh, type all your commands where you are where you are uh, where you are you enter all your variables and perform calculations but the solvers run at the workspace the calculations are done at workspace uh, workspace and through the command through the commands actually whatever the command you type here in the command window it automatically gets recorded here it it's called command history and these are the basic four windows uh, and then this is the drop down menu like uh, any other software uh, it opens the new uh, save uh, new uh, new matlab new matlab function uh, matlab file and opens matlab file save the mat matlab file and uh, so just like normal uh, any other software so these are all the drop down menus these are all the drop down menus and these are all the icons these are all the icons this is this icon is to open a new file and this uh, sorry this i uh, open a, a create a new file and this this icon is to open an existing file and then uh, this is the uh, this is the icon for simulink and this is the help help uh, of course you can access it through the drop down menu so let me just put some basic commands in uh, command window so this is the current work working directory my working directory is c users user documents matlab it's set by default it's set by c uh, default so you can also change it you can also change this uh, working directory those are all uh, now you can uh, as a beginner you can uh, you can leave leave the default working directory when you become more proficient then you can uh, change the directories and all so uh, let me type some commands here a that is equal to 100 uh, b that is equal to 200 we just add a plus b and store it in a variable that is c c that is equal to a plus b so now we have got the uh, summation of a and b if you go to the workspace if you go to the workspace it create um, all the arrays or Created. MATLAB basically works uh, the core the core process of MATLAB is ma matrix matrix calculation mat matrix calculation so it is uh, it creates as you type any command for example any command b that is equal to 500 so it immediately creates it and creates a um, array in, in its workspace so you can also access it you can also just by clicking on it you can access the array you can access the array and for B for B it's created A B C 
you can see the array of the variables and the uh, result of the calculation and also see all the commands what I have entered here it is available in the command history also it is available in the command history so let me close the array editor and these commands you can you can retrieve it you can uh, retrieve it suppose if I want to uh, if I want to retrieve the command uh, a the variable a I can use the up arrow key up arrow key so uh, the when I press the up arrow key it displays the commands in chronological order means the one you typed last arrives first for example say D that is D the one which I uh, type last so it uh, in history it comes first so now I want to assign another variable for uh, for the variable I want to assign and uh, I want to assign another number so if you if you type it if you just type it it acts, um, uh, it, uh, it consumes the it, it takes the same value but I want to assign it to I want to assign uh, assign uh, another number for the variable a so let me assign let it be 2000 2000 now I have assigned another value to a and then uh, b let me assign 3000 for b so now see the values are automatically changed the values are automatically changed uh, uh, automatically changed. now i can i can take e e that is equal to a plus Five thousand, five thousand. E that is equal to five thousand. Note that the C remain unchanged. C remain unchanged, but the recent um, the recent calculation has been changed. So it is five thousand. So now I now I am planning to move to move so move to another calculation. Now I am planning to uh, now I I'd like to perform another calculation. So I want to delete all the variables from the workspace and the command window. So uh, to clear the workspace, you can type a command clear. Now all the variables assigned in the workspace, it's clear. And to uh, clear the command window, I can type the command clc. So it is clear. Now I can also delete the commands from the command history so clear entire history yes now it is clear now it is clear so these are all the purpose of the four uh, basic windows you can also undock you can also undock from the default view means floating it means i can float Undock it from the uh, from the default view. I can float it. So, and also you can uh, retrieve it back using this desktop layer default. Now, all my uh, all my windows have retrieved its original position you can also align it on sides you can also align it on sides see so let me make it into default and also there is one more uh, window I'd like to introduce you. it's a help window matter MATLAB provides the documentation, uh, the very good documentation for product help. For product help, you can search it by the contents, by the contents, and then by index, and then 
it has it also has the demonstration it, uh, it also has the demonstration you can type a word for example uh, a drive line a drive line port a drive line port so directly points to the uh, related documentation so uh, that's all for uh, hope you got uh, got the basic things about the uh, windows let's meet in the uh, let's meet in another session thanks for watching thank you